No Up, No Down, No Side to Side is a solo exhibition by contemporary artists in Abuja. The Countervale Art Gallery, in collaboration with VOM Network, presents this debut solo exhibition by contemporary artist Ebuka Agudiegu in Abuja titled No Up, No Down, No Side to Side. The whole, the whole idea started from within. I was just trying to get a grip of how our mind works, like the magnitude of our mind being dimensionless. I'm fascinated with space, you know, astronomy and all, and one of the things that fascinates me the most about astronomy is when scientists come to say, like, we know where we are in the solar system, but we don't actually know where the solar system is in space. And that is kind of um, similar to how our minds are. Like, think of it, what are the limits to what you can think? Like you can literally think of anything. Um, these days we watch a lot of movies. You see Spider-Man flying. You see cars flying. Like I'm just trying to, you know, give you a, a, a sense of, you know, how the mind works. And the truth is, our reality is kind of contrary to our imagination. Sometimes the, the, the only limiting factor we experience in life is uh, what we see in the real world. I'd say it's different and one thing is for sure is that he kind of reminds you of the connection between human beings and nature, mainly plants, right? Which is, um, I feel like it's a sustainable idea that people need to have in mind when, um, you know, going about their day-to-day -day activities. And right now we're talking about art right now, so yeah. Since it's his first solo outing, the self-taught artist from Emo State has pulled all the stops, not only showing his love for painting and drawing, but revealing how art can be used to create change by sending across the right messages. I want to believe that our minds are linked together. Like, I, I, I'm thinking of something, I'm not discussing with anybody, and then somebody in China probably thinking about that same thing. And it's just amazing. Because the whole thing started when I heard a man say, where can you find the greatest of treasures? He asked the question to a congregation. And they were all making guesses at the mine, some said at uh, the ocean. And he was like, no, that you get the greatest of all treasures in the burial ground. And for a long time, I believed that because, yeah, many people have ideas, but they never live to, you know, express it. And we assume they die with it. But wouldn't it be unfair for nature to do such? Like you have, let's say you have the cure of cancer and maybe because you didn't believe in yourself or you didn't have the right opportunity or tools to just do that and then it goes. I don't think so. I believe that it might not come in your time, but it will surely come again. So we're more like channels to express, you know, yes. This artist began his creative journey from infancy but went professional in 2017, and he uses it to connect with his immediate society and the world at large. Started doing art at the age of five, and it started when I went to see my grandma in Ugunchara. I just went for holiday and I followed her to the market. I think that market is no longer existing now. They demolished it, and man, it was amazing. Like. Every corner of the market, you see graffiti, you see art. They were doing their normal thing, you know, selling their goods, doing their, but it was as if the walls were just canvases for people to just express themselves. And as a, as, as a child, I fell in love with it. And let me just make a confession. I stole my mom's money to actually buy, <laughs> to actually buy um, you know, pencil and all to um, attach myself to one big uncle then. And that was just how I started. He talks about the conversations he's embarking on in this exhibition and the medium he has adopted. Mr. Ebuka did wonderful work here. Although I still have some conflictions in understanding the meaning behind the artwork, but from what I can see, every brush has a kind of feeling. You can tell it came from his soul. You understand? Um, I've seen just these two for now, but I want to go around and see more of the work. 
I really love what I'm seeing, and I want to say big kudos to Mr. Ebuka and the organizers of this event. People should pay attention to themselves. People should not be scared to try things out. You never know where it's going to lead you. Like Just like I mentioned earlier, most of the greatest inventions we have now are, are outcomes of accidents. Like I was uh, telling one of, uh, one of uh, my guests here about how electricity was actually um, discovered. So if we as uh, individuals can have that sense of curiosity to actually try things out, to see how it goes, there is no harm in trying actually will have a much, much more better world to live in. Instincts has enabled him carve a niche in the realm of surrealism, addressing issues around pre-colonial African civilizations and their influences on African descendants.